Hi, my name is Rylan Jose, and I'm the writer and director of Miss Aswang. The Aswang itself has a few different interpretations, but I think, generally speaking, the Aswang is typically described as this vampire-y, ghoulish, shape-shifting creature, pale, grotesque monster that feeds on blood, human, animals, and flesh. But overall, the Aswang is basically a predatory monster. So the way that this story actually came to life, I was having a conversation with a friend about our Filipino upbringings and just what we wish we knew more about with our Filipino backgrounds and culture. And something that we both agreed on was Filipino mythology. That was something we were both curious about. And so this, this story came from the curiosity we had for Filipino myth creatures. I agree that there's definitely a lot of fascination with the Aswang, even today. And I think what draws so many artists to the Aswang is just such an iconic piece of Filipino culture and tradition. Because there are so many different interpretations, it leaves a lot of room for, you know, imagination and for artists to put their own spin on the Aswang. I think the mythical Aswang helps us Filipinos understand our culture better by encouraging us to explore something that is so significant in our culture. I mean, the Aswang and Filipino mythology overall represents this rich part of our culture which is oral tradition, oral history. The Aswang, along with all the other myths and legends, have been passed down for so many generations, have been passed down by our ancestors. And so I think that it's a beautiful thing to be able to learn more about those roots and those stories that we've been telling for centuries. Bringing to life the Aswang was definitely an incredible process of imagination and collaboration. Of course, I wanted to stay true to the myth and what the legends say as closely as possible, so there was definitely a lot of referencing books and a lot of just research in general. Overall, we all agreed on this androgynous interpretation, a creature that was both ferocious and terrifying, but also kind of spunky and sassy. <laughs> Actually, let's hear from the Aswang themselves. Oh. Hi, man. Hi. <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> doing good. So they're asking about our interpretation of the Aswang and <laughs> why are you laughing? They're asking how much was my original vision and how much was the actor's interpretation because they really enjoyed your performance, which I agree with. It was amazing. So um, at the time that we shot Mrs. Wong, I think I only had Guinevere at that time. So Guinevere, my cat, was the tag for Mrs. Wong. I was like, the time laughing when, when he asked me, like, what's the inspiration? I was like, my cat. Like, I want to make it fun, but like, I want to make the idea uh, Wong kind of sassy, and like, my cat is pretty sassy. So that was the inspiration for that. And then I just kind of like took off, um, took some bold choices. Um, because it's a pretty fun part to play. And I think so, I think we both had a lot of fun just mm -hmm. creating that that creature. Wow. Well, there you have it. Um, well, I think that's it. So I'll let you go now. But thank you. Thank you so much for your yeah. input. I actually want to leave this up to the audience. I would like you to draw your own conclusion and interpretation of what you think happened with D and the S1. <laughs> this is another good question. Um, I wouldn't say that my family and I necessarily believe in the Aswang. Like, we wouldn't say that we do. But I don't think we would say that we don't either. <laughs> I hope that my film encourages others to explore and embrace the roots. Dee's character represents denial, confusion. She faces a lot of conflict in terms of who she is and her lineage, but ultimately she can't escape from who she is. And so I hope this film encourages you to embrace your roots and to explore more of where you come from and to just be proud of your identity, no matter who you are or what you look like. 
So Miss Aswang will also be screening at the Diwa Filipino Film Festival for the rest of June 2021. So you can also catch my film there. Otherwise, for now, Miss Aswang will not be available for public viewing yet, but it will be eventually. So I do actually have an upcoming project. I actually shot another film with Cheryl and Van, and it's another Filipino-American story called The Atang. Um, it's still under the post-production phase, but for updates on that, follow our Twitter page. Maraming salamat po! Thank you so much for watching my film, and thank you so much for listening. Bye!